All right, everybody, how you guys doing? So welcome. Uh, for those of you that are here, do me a favor. Go ahead and give me your name in the chat. That would be great. Uh, so that way I say hello. Uh, for those of you who I haven't met before, welcome. Uh, my name is Jay, and I'm glad that you are joining us today. We're going to talk very briefly. Um, you know, I'll answer some questions, uh, talk about the whole search article that came out today or not today but this week and I have some of our members are asking for listing reviews so we will of course do those as well simply put we're gonna pull up their listing and figure out how or what they might be able to do better uh, just to give them kind of a grade if you will just to make sure that uh, they're doing everything that they can to go out there and uh, maximize the revenue potential that their listing uh, that their particular listing has so make sure you say hello in the chat uh, for those of you that are already here <laughs> so excellent i see june hello thanks for being here is that cart crashers <laughs> hey veronica oh veronica got it excellent hey donna excellent glad that you're here and then i'm wondering if if uh what's her name candace is already here or not but either way it goes it's good we will get this started so again uh kind of a q a definitely for those of you who might not have some Q's or A's, that's fine. Um, and then definitely wanna make sure that we talk about this particular article. Not sure if you guys saw this particular article, um, but it's an article that, it's a topic that comes up a lot about search questions and it, uh, Airbnb decided to uh, go ahead and give us some thoughts or their thoughts about how uh, search really works uh, from their end and what's interesting is as you read this if you if you've taken the time to read it um, you what you will learn is that yeah it, it, while it kills some of the rumors specifically you know how many times do I need to edit my listing to keep it near the top etc uh, some interesting thing about declining uh, and how how that works but these are in general lots of things that uh, those of you if you've been anywhere near you you guys already knew uh, all of these things already. Uh, this is not there's there's not a lot <laughs> that that's news or news in in this particular uh, in this particular article, uh, in my opinion. But it's definitely something that you might want to be paying attention to if you if you can at the end of the day. Got it. Um, so what but what does it mean? What does it mean? Because one of the questions that often comes up is. How on earth, Jay, do I make sure that uh, I get more bookings or how do I get my listing seen by more people? Uh, I get that question uh, because people want to get their occupancy and revenue up and they're concerned about it. And here's the, the, end of, the end of the day. What it comes down to is that when it comes to search in this particular case, um, Airbnb and many other companies are beginning to use what is known as machine learning. And if you've ever follow the process that I've said about understanding whom you want to serve, you're, you're doing everything that, that you can do to be right. So it's not so much about the keywords, right? You know, that a computer would read or how many, who's typing in what inside of a search engine, although there is a search function to every one of these platforms, what you must understand is that they are, they, the platform is actually running and holding that data on on every user like for example what do they click on what do they scroll past what do they put in, onto their wish list that behavior uh, in addition to when they're searching what device they're searching on uh, the location that they're searching from so this in theory means if i am looking for a place to stay as a user uh, and I'm at work and let's say, you know, I live out here in Orange County. So let's pretend I work in the city of Irvine, but I live uh, in the city of Tustin, right? Those are, they're near each other, but they're two different locations. In theory, the search results for the same trip could result in something completely different, simple because now where I was searching at work, now I'm searching at home. And if I was searching at work on my work computer, 
versus now searching on my phone <laughs> while in traffic on the way home, <laughs> I'm going to get a different answer. And that's something that you nor I or any of us uh, as rentalpreneurs can definitely plan for. It's just part of it and something that we need to understand. So, but what we can do is make sure that our respective listings always focus on the whom we wish to serve. Meaning, if you're serving the business traveler, make sure that what you highlight in your listings always focuses on those things. Therefore, the likelihood that a business traveler will find you is higher. If you're looking for maybe movie or television production studios or that longer term reservations from fires and floods, etc., then make sure that these are the things that you are highlighting in your listing some way, shape or form so that that individual, so that it speaks to that individual, right? If you're serving maybe an entertainment or dancing community, like if you happen to have a location near a bunch of theaters, right? So a lot of those people who are in the cast and crew, they need a place to stay. They probably are going to be in town for a few months. They don't necessarily want to take out a, a, a longer term lease, etc. And they definitely don't want to stay in a hotel for that long. So that you need to have amenities that that suit that particular person and their style and habits of living. So um, what it comes down to is that when that dancer, let's just take a dancer, is looking, he or she might actually want, and I'm going to be a little bit ridiculous, but they might actually might want a bar, a ballet bar inside the unit, right? So if your your photos highlight things that would attract a dancer, say you happen to have a room with a ballet bar in it, um, well, they might wish list your particular listing. And because you're speaking to that person, what happens is that Airbnb tracks both ends. It, it tracks which type of person likes your listing, which ones don't click on your listings, and it does its best. They do their best to have their algorithm show what they believe, what the software believes is going to result in a booking, because understand ultimately what they want is the reservation. So the best thing you and I can do is to use the language in our written in our listing description and in the titles uh, towards that particular um, uh, that particular target market or customer after and definitely use photography that communicates those things as well. Because remember, if you don't tell me something is there, I'm going to assume you don't have it. Rightly or wrongly, that's what happens as consumers. If you don't tell me you're open 24 hours, then I assume you're not uh, because you're not unless you say so otherwise. So that's definitely something you want to be thinking about. So um, as I, I mentioned previously, what is, yep, there it is. So what we're doing today, I definitely wanted to bring up that article because it came out and I got a lot of questions about it. And if you've got any um, if you've got, if for those of you that are, uh, let me sh let me just share how this works. For those of you that are students uh, already, feel free. If you're already one of our members, feel free to just post your listing in the chat uh, over here. Obviously, on the YouTube chat window, uh, I'll be able to pull up your listing and give your listing of a, a review. For those of you that are not yet. Uh, students uh, kindly consider a, a donation to Super Chat because that would be pretty cool if you want and then I can make sure to review your listing as well so what I want to do is that I want to get into uh, the listing and definitely uh, make some time for that so give me one second here oh so for those of you in this particular group this is when I say if you're one of the students you should you probably know <laughs> if you're a student um, but you're in this particular group right here and that's what I was referring to so for those of you in that group come on over to the YouTube channel or if you're not already so that you can put your listing in there and I can give it a, a once over all right let's see I know that we have one I just got to find the listing and Candace she says I'm here um, and then June, I see your question. Just I need your you have to place your link somewhere where I can get to it, um, preferably right there in the chat window. <laughs> and then I should be able to uh, help you out um, with 
with that as well. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull up Candice and her listing. Candice, I believe this is the listing you were referring to. Let me know in the chat if I've got the right one. Um, but uh, it looks... Uh, there's Okay. So the, this, I, I believe this is the right one. So if this is the right one, just let me know. But I'm looking at it right now. And so guys, one of the first things that you want to do is just judge this listing on its first impression. Now, here's the challenge is that part of this is due to photography. So this this location probably looks and feels better in person than I'm going to suspect that this photo is currently showing. So um, one of the things, the first thing that I'm looking at right here, Candace, is um, you would want the higher resolution image uh, than what we've got right here because this this resolution of image is not helping uh, your situation on this particular listing at all. I would want you to have a higher resolution than what we've got right here because this is not, it's just not sharp, uh, which then makes it look muddy and or just not clean or dirty or, or old, I guess is, is kind of where it is. And I, I don't think this is an old location. Uh, I mean, I can see your nest on the wall. I can see a number of things that tell me that you've taken some care for the place. But at this moment, this photo is probably not the best photo to to be using, um, mostly because of its resolution. But I'm going. We're going to look at your photos, of course, here in a moment as well, um, because this is definitely something we want to we we want to work on that. We definitely want to work on that. All right. Um, so let's let's take a tour if you will through her listing we're going to look at the title because that's important um and and kind of think about that so candace i kind of need to know who is the type of customer i'm assuming uh, the type of customer that you're looking for is the business traveler but if if you want type in the chat let me know what type of of customer you're looking for and i'm just looking at the listing layout i like this easy to read uh, this paragraph is a little thick, so if you can break that up a little bit, maybe two and three lines at a time, that's probably a good idea. Bullet points are good. Again, see this is broken up, even though this is probably all together. This is broken up right here, uh, where it begins to talk about... Uh, actually, you probably can't see that. Hold on one second. Let's see. Whoa. There we go. Let's see. Now let's do this. There we go. All right. So let me start back over. So uh, first, the the title. Now one. Okay. So when it comes to your title, uh, so let's. When it comes to the title, this title. Um, while I think it's great, the challenge is, is I don't think it's going to do well um, with search. I, I just don't think it's going to be um, the. It's just not going to do well with search because there's no spaces. You don't have any spaces um, here because you have stars. That's a star. That's a star. I'm going to, I mean, it might be okay, I, but I, I'm going to first say you probably want to include some spaces uh, on either side of these words. Uh, one, for legibility. Two, let's pretend that the keywords do matter. It would be a good idea. Now, I get what you're doing by titling it business ready. Um, I don't, I, I wonder if there's something better that you could use instead and we'll we'll probably get to that as we go through this process we'll probably get to that and i'm trying i'm interested to know why you thought clearwater i'm assuming that's the location why so basically here's what i'm saying you've got you've got some jumble you, your title's a little jumbled it's a king bed i think you're saying king bed fast wi-fi but at first this looks it could be read could read could be read king breakfast 
I wouldn't be surprised if someone actually made <laughs> that X <laughs> made that mistake thinking that you're providing breakfast um, because just because of the way it looks right now. Um, and then, but I get fast Wi-Fi. That's fine. 4K TV. I like it. Again, I would like more spacing. I don't think Clearwater or Business Ready are helping you at all in the title. Uh, to be honest, and, and unless there's some specific reason you want Clearwater and or Business Ready to be listed there, let, let's see if we can't find some better words um, uh, to to be mentioned. Now, I find, uh, I'm curious to know how many square feet this is, so if you can type that in the chat, that's great, because you have this listed as four guests, um, so that, that makes, that's kind of interesting to me, uh, but I like the layout of this first part using arrows, that's good. This uh, is good, broken up text. This is too much text to be, uh, so you wanna break this up, maybe break it up right here, give me some more returns because it'll be make it easier to read. Uh, what the apartment includes, king bed, queen sleeper sofa, fully equipped kitchen, blah, blah, blah. Work quality, high quality brother printer. I don't know that mentioning the uh, type, mentioning the, um, whatchamacallit, the, the, brand of printer again is helping you in any way shape or form because uh, i'm just saying i don't think it helps you anyway glass dry erase board clean by professional maids make sure cleanliness yep yep i like the break up here i like what you've done here so this is good a putting green what uh, hopefully that uh, we'll look at your photos in a minute and see so this interaction that's fine this is broken up nicely so this is good um, and I like the call out for the ring camera, so that's good. 15, extra people 15 night after two guests, that makes sense. 150, cleaning fee is 100, and that's fine. Um, king bed, king bed again, I'm curious about the square footage because of your sleeping arrangements. No super, da, 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 da. Check in, anytime after three, check out by 10. No, let's look at your rules. No parties, events, birthday, bachelor's, no smoking. Do not have, that looks good. That looks good. We're not responsible for any accidents, illness, injuries. <laughs> I like that. Uh, additional background checks may be required. That's good. F whoa, why are we doing a flexible cancellation policy? I don't know if that's intentional. Um, I don't know that I would do that. To be honest, I would probably look at changing that to moderate um, because let's see uh, cancel cancellation policies uh, there we go so as you can see here they have many different levels right so they've got your uh, flexible which is what you're doing um, and then you've got uh, full or, or moderate, which is what I tend to prefer as opposed to flexible because flexible can be up to one day prior, which especially in your lower seasons is going to be a challenge. And then moderate is five days prior, which does at least give you a shot at still trying to book that place, um, uh, book that place again. So um, strict, depending on uh, strict, super strict, super strict, all, all of uh, super strict 30 and super strict 60, you're going to use those in completely uh, different situations uh, because of uh, you know different types of houses, etc. But moderate is probably a change that I would recommend. Um, let me just keep going. And smoke detector that looks good. One night minimum. You've got reviews, so this is good. You have 23 reviews from other properties. You've made super hosts. These are all good. Response time is good. Is this the, okay, got it. Excellent, excellent. And you've got some, it looks like you've got some recommendations for things nearby. This is good. Okay, so the, so far the thing that I'm looking at is definitely that, that cancellation policy and some things in the title. We'll look at your photos in a minute because that's probably really important. And then uh, we'll, we'll look at the calendar. But before we do that, uh, let's look and see what, uh, what you've said so far in the chat room. 
Let's see. June puts it. Yes, that's it. Business travelers. The crown is missing. Also put a space between bed. Yeah, yes. Took me a second to decipher. Yes, it's, uh, you can see in the chat, Candace. Other people thought that might have been breakfast too. Uh, it's 811 square feet. Okay, so if this is 811 square feet, and let me see. 811 square feet to meters for those of you in other places so this is about a 75 uh, square meter apartment so um, what it comes down to is you've got room for at least two more people to sleep so um, your one so some of the things that I would begin looking at is taking this to a um, from sleeps four to sleeps six right sleeps four to sleep six because that's definitely something that I believe you could easily make happen here and then you also have a uh, I believe you have an opportunity inside your uh, so that'll give you some opportunities inside the extra person's fees for sure so that's one and then I would so far I'm looking at the cancellation policy and I'd be slanting towards moderate uh, at the moment uh, because I'm rarely if ever going to change that if anything I'll make it more strict but never flexible less strict so that's for sure um, we'll look at your like I said we'll look at your photos in a moment um, she says moderate it is changed it okay good no well, that's why we're doing this um, it shouldn't be jumbled not sure how that happened I that's why we're doing the review all right so yeah and you got decent reviews you you've got all, some of the right things so the next thing let's just look at the calendar okay today four so it looks like you're filled this is pretty good that's not bad so one two three four so seven so eight days so you're doing okay I'm I'm assuming you're using dynamic pricing but I'm not really sure um, about that can you confirm yeah okay it looks like you're using dynamic pricing it does look like you're using dynamic pricing so that's good I actually I should be yeah so what I'm doing is that I'm I'm just look, going through your calendar here oh that was October there we go so it does look like you're using dynamic pricing now okay so you have a challenge right here I don't really know how this happened but this is a holiday right here. Um, these days are, are holidays. You typically want to set a minimum stay. Uh, it's like on for Thanksgiving. Um, I, I will want a minimum stay. So maybe you know you could start it on that Tuesday or that Wednesday. But I want a minimum stay of like three or four days. Like if they're moving, if they're arriving on a Wednesday, I don't want them leaving till Sunday morning. If they're arriving on on Thursday. Uh, I don't want them leaving till I basically don't want people leaving till Sunday morning is basically what it comes down to. <laughs> so just something to, to think about here um, for the remaining days that are not already blocked. So because you don't really want you don't really want this one day thing on a Saturday that kind of kills this weekend, especially with it being a holiday weekend. So that is an opportunity for you're probably going to have to discount in order to get these days actually like you want them to be. So something to something to think about there. Let's go look at Christmas. Okay, so that one's already booked. So again, same thing. You want to do a minimum stay here because you're going to have New Year's to contend with if you haven't already. Uh, so that's definitely something to think about. And yeah, it does look like you're using form some form of dynamic pricing. So that's good. Um, I'm I'm happy to see that because that's that's kind of a must. All right. Um, let me see. Uh, dynamic pricing blah 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 all right so now let's go to <laughs> my favorite part some people have dubbed me the photo nazi let's go find out if that name is true yep so we have um so notice i mean i don't know if you can tell on your screen but this is a completely different resolution of the same photo when it's shown as the cover image right here you you didn't upload the high resolution version so therefore it looks muddy um, you also have an issue. I don't know. I, I'm hoping that these walls are actually yellow and not white because if they are supposed to be white, I don't think they are. 
um, the walls are yellow. The problem with this is that it turns, as you can see, even the white yellow, you've got that this tone overwhelms the photo and and there's not enough contrast in color to make this photo, in my opinion, be the photo you should be leading with. I don't, I mean, I haven't looked at any other photos. So I'm looking at your, right now, as I look at your listing, you only have 16 photos, first of all. So you wanna get to 22 to 24, somewhere in there. Uh, so, and you only have 16 photos. I, I'm gonna do my best to find a different photo. Plus it looks like this person, when they took the photo, was using some sort of flash because I can see a different color temperature up here, uh, up here, and it just just doesn't look good. This is not your feature photo. So it's, hopefully you have another photo that we can find instead for you, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, got it. Uh, let's see. That's a really, this, see, okay, this is what I'm talking about. You you have really, this is, I'm assuming this is a king size bed um, or maybe it's the queen, but either way, if you, this is a very long wall, which suggests to me that this is a very large bedroom, right? Um, I'm not sure that this particular layout is the best use of space on this particular bedroom. Um, maybe it is, maybe it isn't, um, but what I'm looking at right here tells me that again confirms that we could easily get to six an occupancy of six in, in this place because you i mean yeah definitely can get to an occupancy of six um and but notice how in okay so let's look at the colors you see how almost everything feels like it blends in here except maybe this rug kind of sticks out a little bit um this there's more contrast and it's easy honestly it's easier on my eyes <laughs> than the than the other photo uh, i'm not saying that this is your feature photo yet but this one would definitely be above the the one we just saw uh, some photographic tips you might want to add a little bit more saturation for some extra color and whatnot but other than that 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 that's what i'm seeing right there okay that's just a weird angle there's no focus on this particular subject if you can once you get to remove this photo once you have more and yeah because this yeah remove this photo once you have more <laughs> ah this is more focused on the dining area this is better um i would rather this whole area over here not even be in the photo and have it focus a hundred percent right here by the way nice low profile printer so that's a good find so that's good um, so I would rather this area be the, the highlighted focus. Okay. This one. Okay. So this photos, <laughs> Ooh, um, these photos are not lit properly. Um, meaning this over here is dark over here is over. Whoops. What did I just do? Okay. So over here is dark and then over here is light. And then you've got the exact opposite over here. Over here is dark and over here is light. We need the light to be even to make the photo look better. And then this one, I don't know what happened, but it's washed out. So I, I just I just don't know what happened. Um, this is another photo I would consider removing um, as well. I'm almost willing to ask, did you use a different camera for this photo? Like what happened? Something happened on this photo and I don't I don't really know. Um, okay, you're trying to show off the towels, I get it. Then let's just get closer. Let's go ahead and get in this closet with the wide angle lens. Actually, that's probably what's going on. You didn't use a wide enough angle lens or whomever was taking the photos did not use. See, yeah, this is the shot. This is the shot. But uh, again, they didn't get the lighting right over here. First aid kit, that's cool. Don't even know what this is. I don't know if that's instructions or decoration. Um, and typically, if this is your luggage rack, um, I typically like the metal ones instead of anything wooden because uh, bed bugs can't travel. They, they don't do the metal thing. Um, that's a nice kitchen photo. Okay, so this camera is clearly the same as the one that did this photo. It's like 
It feels like there was multiple cameras or camera people involved in the creation of what I'm looking at right now. I don't really know, uh, but it's definitely something. Um, it's definitely something that uh, I can tell. But then again, I'm, I'm the photo Nazi, right? I'm supposed to be able to tell. Um, so this angle is better. You, uh, but it did miss the focus of the shot. So while it's a decent frame, uh, although I would like it to be a little bit higher to show this. What's missing out of this is the sharpness uh, of, of the focus for, for showing this off. Again, I think a wide angle, wider angle lens will take care of that. This photo should have been shot straight on. Okay, that's fine. That's great. You have an amenity. You got the pool. That's cool. That's cool. Get rid of this photo or take a new one because this makes it look like your TV is broken. Just so you know, that's what that, li I mean, I'm assuming it's not broken, um, but this line right here makes it look like your TV is broken, which I don't think you want that. Um, washer, okay, got it. Dryer, okay, perfect. Nice little pro tip right there for everybody. I like it, including the, the speed test so that people can see. Uh, by the way, you might want to charge your phone. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but nice little speed test going on. Totally get it. And it looks like we're back to the beginning. All right, so let me see. I am I still... So of all the photos that I've just looked at, um, one, I think this would make a better... Of the photos you have, this is probably the better feature image. Um, this is probably the better feature image than this one. Okay. But, uh, than this one, um, I don't really know what the subject is. I don't know really what to look at, um, when it comes to this particular photo. Um, I would consider, uh, reshooting the apartment simple because it doesn't tell the entire story. In fact, where's the front door? Like, I don't, I didn't remember seeing that. Yeah, that's because I don't see it. Like, uh, so what I, and I guess what I'm really trying to communicate here is that when I'm looking through the photos, I want to feel like I can follow the flow. Like, oh, I walk in and then I can see to the left of me and to the right of me and what's in front of me. And I walk through this entire building or this entire unit and kind of have a feel for what it is. Um, I don't get that from the story these photos tell. Um, these photos tell me a story of confusion. Um, one, because you, I think you've used multiple different cameras or photos from multiple different cameras, maybe even multiple different photographers. I'm not 100% certain, but it feels that way. Um, like some were taken just to get the unit up. I could be wrong. And then later, somebody else came through and took some more photos. But uh, so you definitely want to get to about 24 photos. You want to get uh, just some better, better composition is basically what I'm really saying is what I think you want uh, in order to be able to tell the story in such a way that people can get a sense of what I'm paying for before they get there. Uh, because my suspicion is that once they get there, they're going to be like, oh, my God, this is better than the photos. And you're going to get that a lot. Uh, but you probably you'd be able to increase your rates, etc., by fixing your title, fixing some of the photos, my, uh, changing that cancellation policy for sure. Um, but these are the things that I that I see at the moment. At least that's this is what I can see uh, without like logging into your back office, etc., uh, to see anymore but that's what I see uh, from those photos right there um, let me see I wonder if we can move around uh, I would chop those chairs in the right bottom yeah the, the stuff that you have a lot of photos with stuff that's stuck in the corners is it's just distracting it's kind of hard uh, to understand so it is a kink okay so if you're telling me I just see that you're, you're saying whoops what did I just do there we go. If you're saying that if you're telling me that that's a king size bed and you had room for 
that yeah that's a very large bedroom <laughs> very i mean nice bedroom obviously but it's very large but one of the things that i want to uh, share with you is i never see the other wall of this bedroom like i just don't see it where's the closet in that bedroom for example uh, i don't i didn't see it i don't is there a tv in this bedroom if there is i don't i don't see it so again because you didn't tell me i'm assuming it's not there I don't know what the the what it all looks like, and maybe this is the closet in the bedroom. I'm I'm not a hundred percent certain because it's so disconnected from the. But this is what I mean when I'm talking about the story. It, it's hard to know the story of what is going on because it feels like only part of the room, only parts of each room have been shown and none of the connecting pieces are there so hopefully that makes some sense so that you can figure out how uh to to put this into better perspective so for yeah so candace i i hope um i i hope something happened you say it's the same camera i think just edited differently yes it's edited very differently <laughs> Um, no, one camera, one photographer. I'll set up another photographer. I'm going to update the feature photo for now, at least. Yes, that's a good idea. Um, but the but hopefully you can see now that I've pointed out why certain photos have a different feel to it, and that you don't you want all the photos to match. Yeah, they may have been edited at different. They may be edited differently, even at different times of the day. It doesn't really matter. I should get the same feel. The whites should be the same. The color scheme, the color and the feel should be the same through every photo. And when it's not, it j it just it just feels weird. <laughs> it's got to be consistent all the way through. So um, hopefully that helped uh, some. And I'm looking in the chat for anyone else who wanted a listing review. It looks like June's got hers. Excellent. Let me copy that. Uh, if you have any other questions, though, um, Candice, feel free to keep typing or type that in the chat. So let me let's pull up the next one. Where is there it is. All right. Here we go. Um, okay, June, um, I am not getting your, yours to come up. Let's see. Yeah, your, your listing is not coming up. So make sure that you copied it correctly because it's telling me that we can't seem to find the page you're looking for. I, I would love to be able to help you, but right now, I don't seem to be able to find the page you're looking for. This is not the drone you're looking for. Ah, look at that. Do you see the, okay, so look everybody, she just changed it, right? Look at this. She changed it that quickly. Look at her title, her title has changed. I love the instant moving. Look at this, this is exactly what I'm talking about. That feels completely different already. The, the, the title is a little bit clearer. I mean that that feels completely different already. And it it's simple little things but understand they mean a lot. It means a lot uh when it comes to it. But I still want more photos of this particular room. Um and I'm just just curious what was I mean just side note whose idea was the small little mirror above the really large bed frame that just seems strange to me. Um like if anything I would put this over here and take this small mirror and put it over here but whatever you know it's just a design thing that makes it look off or off balance in some way shape or form so um it, it is what it is but yeah that's such that it's amazing how a photo like that makes a makes a difference and again king bed now see this feels like it goes together king bed boom fast wi-fi which you're going to show me later 4K TV, which you don't really highlight, and the one time you do highlight the TV, it looks like it's broken, uh, which is a problem. So that I think 
that that's going to help and, and help you do a little bit better than what you may have been doing before. So this is good. Good. Fired up. Uh, I wasn't, Jay, you were not supposed to notice that. What wasn't I supposed to notice, Veronica? I'm sorry. Or was I not supposed to notice the... What wasn't I supposed to notice? <laughs> I'm like curious. That's pretty funny. Is there something I'm not supposed to notice? She wanted me to review the listing. This is what I noticed. So it, it is what it is. Um, okay, so June says she's copying it again. All right, cool. cool. Let me know when you've copied it over, June, because I'm looking for your um, your listing, the small picture above the bed. Oh, I couldn't help it. Don't you you noticed it, Veronica? So I noticed it too. <laughs> you know that uh, I I'm I'm sure I'm not the only one that noticed it, right? Because uh, at the end of the day, it, it's a problem, you, and all of these all of those little seeming problems seem to matter. There we go. Okay, June. All right, so let's go ahead and do another one. Um, so June, uh, I. I'm just going to tell you to let me, hold on. Let's make sure that I've got the right one because I am not sure. Um, let me show the screen. Is this the correct one, June? Please let me know if that's the correct one. Um, um, oh, actually, no. Hold on. Sorry. This one. <laughs> if this is the correct one, uh, please let me know. Um, and it says near New York City, so this should be interesting. You've got some reviews. I just want to make sure that this is the right one that I'm supposed to be looking at. Yes, okay, awesome. Okay, um, one, I haven't gone anywhere, and I this is, I'm just gonna assume you took this photo yourself, okay? Uh, so let's not do that unless you actually have some skill with a camera because um, this is not your feature photo uh, at all. This, this isn't even a well-composed photo. Um, although I'm liking what's going on with the, this yellow color, by the way, that I'm seeing at this moment. I don't understand this salmon color uh, on the chairs yet, but I'll look at that. We'll, we'll just keep looking at that. Now, what is this? I don't even understand what Kempton three what is that i don't know what that is and i don't think it should be in your title unless you think your guest is going to know what that is i have no idea what that means um and if your guest doesn't know or the person you're trying to attract doesn't know what that is it should not be in the title um at all like it yeah it no <laughs> um, then queen bed parking gym near New York City okay cool those are all fine uh, you've got some spacing issues after the vertical bar uh, we all know that the vertical bar is kind of like my favorite tool toy right here so you just got some spacing after that I typically like to have a space on both sides um, and near New York City okay cool that's fine um, Montclair H historic district let me see four guests one bedroom two beds one bath. Uh, again, I'm going to ask you the same question in terms of score footage, because my guess is is that there's room for two more, uh, two more people, so that you could actually sleep six. So let me see. This looks good. This looks good. This looks good. Um, um, interesting. I I know it's, it's it sounds nitpicky, but everything matters. Is the use of the hyphen versus the use so i'm just going to compare of the arrow do you see how the arrow seems to be more of a call out than using this little hyphen using this little hyphen doesn't really draw my attention to it in fact almost makes me skip it so um we've got to use uh what are known as ascii characters so let me go a s c i i uh ascii table no, let's do 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 do. Boom. Uh, let me see if I can see. Uh, that's not the what I want. <clears throat> Star C. 
symbol. There it is. So these are, when I say the, this is what I'm talking about. We've got to use these codes in order to be able to get those different looking callouts in various different ways. You can just look up these codes just as simply as I just did there so that this stuff appears better than just using the asterisk or these little hyphens. So hopefully that makes some sense. That's a very super pro tip right there. Um, uh, so you're saying the Kempton three is a local listing. Only the locals will know. Yeah, it's the local city area. So I don't, again, if Kempton three is a local thing, I don't know that that is helping you at all. Um, I think, and if it is, and if you really, really must have it, put it towards the end after near New York city, because if it's a local thing, wouldn't I know that Kempton three is near New York city? I mean, I just think you've got, you've got limited characters and I think there's something better that we could put up there. Uh, so that, that's really what I'm trying to say. Uh, cause yeah, that that's really what I'm trying to say. So let's keep looking at this. Um, wow. All right, the space. All right, so again, we've got too much text. I mean, what you're saying, I'm sure is fine, but I'm not gonna read it. I'm going to skip it. So let's try to break it up and make it more bullet point, etc. cetera. Um, same thing here. You, you want more spaces in between your lines, especially these complete thoughts. Um, I just realized I didn't look at the other amenities on the other one. You don't have internet. That's weird. Okay, that looks fine. Looks fine. 25 people per night after after the first guest. Are you sure that that's what you want to do? Because that would mean it's $99 a night for one person. And if there's two people, it's going to be $124 a night. I don't think I, I don't think this is right. I think you want this to be after the second guest. And $25, in my opinion, is a lot. But maybe that actually can work in your marketplace. Um, security deposit, $250, that's fine. Cleaning fee seems a little low to me weekend price i typically don't recommend using this particular weekend price especially if you're using uh dynamic pricing um one of the dynamic pricing engines so that's usually not good i like your supports living wage that's cool no smoking pets not safe or suitable for children zero to twelve interesting check-in time is four to nine gone by eleven self check-in with the doorman that's nice um again okay that's fine strict cancellation i would modify that to moderate uh for sure uh, because you're probably losing some bookings by having it stay at strict uh let's see oops didn't need to click that availability the minimum stay for this listing varies okay you've got some reviews looks like this is cool you got a good number of reviews. You got eight, so that's great. Not bad, not bad. Um, so take those notes. Uh, how many square feet is this? 850 square feet. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you got room for more people, so that's good. Yes, I do have internet. You may have internet, but it's, um, you know, it. that's not what the listing says. Um, and then uh, I like your, yeah, good, good point, Donna. She's like, yeah, parking, if you have in new york is probably a premium so highlighting that is good queen queen bed is so now i have a question if it's 850 square feet why'd you use a queen bed not a king unless you just hate tall people <laughs> i'm messing with you but you get the idea um so um and so that uh, everyone can see fully equipped stocked kitchen is actually filler and doesn't tell us anything what does fully equipped mean because to a chef like if a chef is booking this 
he or she has a completely different meaning of what fully equipped looks like. What is that? What is, is the, you know, so this would be something better shown in photos than it would be trying to, to write it out in, in words. So uh, just a side note there, just huge side note. All right, so let's look at your calendar real quick and see what we can find. Oh, we have some vacancy coming up. Nine, 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 nine. Okay, hold on. What is going on here? You. Okay, you, I don't know. It looks like you might be using dynamic pricing. I'm not 100% sure what's going on. Um, but if you're not, I would encourage you to start using dynamic pricing. It looks like you took care of Thanksgiving. That's good. Let's look at Christmas. Eh, it's not bad. You probably want to do the same thing with a minimum state number of days there as well. And it looks like you're booking three months in advance. Okay, that's fine. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Now let's go to the photos. <laughs> let's see what we can see. Yeah. Not this photo. Not this photo. Also, this looks like a TV stand, not actually mounted to the wall. Um, I've said it before, I say it again, I highly recommend you mount your TVs. What in the world was that? Okay, is this the same? Okay. Um, well, here's the good news. You have 38 photos what we're going to do is we're going to eliminate photos starting with these first two <laughs> there's no need for both of those to be there and what's yeah i yeah i just i don't like this angle on this room at all so i'd remove that that's better kind of this is if this wasn't in the photo and this was shot straight on that would be pretty that would be pretty good so i don't really like that one well that's interesting but i in this shot i would want someone actually sitting there and you've got a reflection from the flash in the window so that doesn't work got this big chair scoot this over a little bit that one doesn't work there is mm, that's artistic, it's nice. If you're trying to sell this little dish bowl on the table, um, but you don't need that one. That's the same story. Ah, there we go. Now we're talking, I this is better, but I would like it higher and straight on couch level. So this is better, we're, we're making some progress. Um, well, that's creative. Take this shot again, get this rug out of the photo and get this chair out of the way. Or if you have more than one of these chairs, make sure they all line up. And it looks like you had something hanging off the counter right here. This is a creative shot. And if you're gonna do this with these mats, make sure that all three of these mats are perfectly fanned out right. I like this, this is a creative one, that's not bad. That's not bad. Um, I would rather you remove this plant and put actual place settings there as if someone, so stage it as if you know they can sit there and eat. That would be better. And this cup, these cups that, that did not, they actually look, you one, you have to look to see this one. And this one over here uh, looks out of place. Remove that photo. Like, just remove it. Do not do any of these vertical photos. Okay, um, do do this one again. Um, I, I like, uh, so do this one again, but understand that you have two different color temperatures of light here. Uh, you want, so if you want to make this photo look as best as possible, you wanna go with some, what's called a daylight balanced bulb everywhere so that the color temperatures begin to look the same but this is just it's too dark it looks like you were trying to take these at night in fact hold on we might be able to see yeah that clock says 756 which i'm going to assume was pm uh because you just need you need way more light in this room um and then again it looks like you're 
bag was still hanging off the counter here. <laughs> you guys are going to like hate. You probably hate when I'm looking at your photos. Um, I'm, I'm just going to make an assumption you did not use a designer. I, this, I'm getting the feeling that this there, there was not a designer used. Uh, to pull together a cohesive concept when I'm looking at what I'm looking at right now. That's decent. I like this one. That's decent. Although you missed focus, um, you, so you need to use a... Um, yeah, you just you need to use a higher f-stop in order to get all this stuff in focus because that, that didn't work. That uh, removed this photo 100%. Remove that one. Yeah, you can leave this one. This one is a great idea, just a little bit higher so I can see the top of the bed too. Um, okay, so this one you got to back up so I can see the front of the bed and be straight on perpendicular. But it looks like you took this one during the day. So I'm, I'm sensing you... you, you uh, wow. Well, this is interesting. There's no need for this photo. Uh, it worked better when you did it with the kitchen than it does right here. Oh, that's not bad. Now, I, this is a this is a this is totally a J thing right here. I don't I can't stand small quote unquote small full length mirrors. That's full length for someone who's not me, <laughs> right? That's what this is. That's full length for someone who is not me. Uh, yeah, and there's no need for that photo. Um, put toilet seat down when you're taking the photos. <laughs> and when you're t shooting into another room, you need this room to be lit as well. You need that room to be lit as well. That's a useless photo. That's just the wrong angle. Needs to be shot more straight on. And I get what you were probably doing here is trying to stay out of the mirror. <laughs> so <laughs> we couldn't see you. I get it. Um, f take it from the side, okay? Take it from the side so that we can't see you that way, but this is this shot too low from the down angle. When you shoot the curtain, open it because this makes me wonder what are you hiding in there? Like what's behind that curtain? I don't know. I'm afraid to find out, but it, it, it creates a question. And just so you know, I really don't like this bath mat. That, that does not work. That's a useless photo. That's good, but open that door all the way. Oh, okay, so cool, I get that, I get that, I get that, I get that. Well, that's just a cool photo. Well, that's cool. Oh, that's a great idea right here. That's a great idea uh, right here. I like it, even though it's off center. <laughs> and we're back to the thing I don't like. Um, you, there's a lot of work you can do inside the photos. You, you might actually, let me see if I can find you a better, a better feature image than the one that you're currently using. A better feature image than the one. You got a lot with the dining area in it. I'm now looking for a better feature image than the one you're currently using. This might be it. This might be it right there. What's currently number 23. Yeah. It's not that one. It could be this one if it was during the day. Like if this one was lit the same as this one. You see how this, this is like your photo. It is, everything is lit. Everything is even in terms of its light. All the others, there's mixture color color temperatures going on it's half dark just and they they got a lot of crazy angle stuff going on um like this one could be dynamite if it was higher and straight on but again you were probably trying to stay out of the reflection of the window um i think if you're having trouble booking this one it's your photos and your title if it's your photos and your title you probably want to spend the money for the right person to come and shoot this place. Let me see what you said in the comments. And I don't know if you totally hate me now or what. Um, let's see. Uh, 
One tenant across off the other wise. June, the building did not want me to mount the TV. Well, you put out, you, if they didn't want you to mount the TV, but you could put art on the wall, I don't see the difference. It's the same, a few more holes. Um, and I more, <laughs> I more don't ask. I, I ask for forgiveness more than permission on that one because you're just, you're still going to have to put the stuff back when it's all said and done. White chairs at the counter unusually far apart. <laughs> I, I did notice that, Donna, but I felt like at this point I was beating her up, so I didn't want to say anything. Uh, the sink is in the middle. Yep, I appreciate all the comments. So, June, I don't know if that helped you. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. But the, um, yeah, um, that that's, that's kind of my thought process. Again, if you want your listing reviewed guys uh we, we totally like doing that for those of you in the facebook group just make sure that you um comment or put your listing there when we do this again of course i, I will review your listing as well um man that was that was interesting it was completely interesting so whoops there we go Um, let's see. I think we got everything for now. So with that being said, I'm looking in the chat. Uh, I will consider changing the TV. This listing gets the most guests. It might get a lot of guests, which is great, but it could be because of the price. I'm saying fix some of the things that I've mentioned and you probably can even increase your price and still keep getting the most guests is what i'm saying there's you're, you're leaving money on the table by having those things not be what as good as they could be that's that's honestly what i'm telling you you may be you may be happy with what you're receiving but you may also be i saw opportunity for improvement um so that that's what i see so hopefully that helps um because <laughs> uh yeah there it is so with that being said, I don't see uh, any more uh, things in the chat box. So what I'm going to do, how long have we, man, that was an hour. Okay. If we have time, would you critique this photographer thinking of using them? Which photographer? Oh, you're going to, if you, yeah, go ahead. Um, I did, I need to put the link in there and I'll look at it real fast. But yes, as you guys can tell, um, the photographer and the photographer's techniques matter, right? You can do all of this great work on the front end, like a lot of it. And then if you don't tell the story right, you could suffer for just bad photography, right? It, that That's really all it has to be. Uh, Donna, I'm going to need an actual... Let me see. I'm going to try and copy that in, but I think I'm going to need an actual URL. Is this um, a Settlers Ridge and uh, Settlers Ridge in Marietta, California? Is that what you are trying to get me to see? If that's the case, then maybe I got it right. Um, let me know. Um, otherwise, I need a URL to, to get close. Uh, to to being to making sure that I see it correctly. So uh, if I understand what you're saying, Donna, is that you you asked a question? Yes, I I see that. Um, I just want to make sure that the Settlers Ridge is, is is what I'm supposed to be seeing in terms of uh, making sure that you that this is the correct posted i didn't see the full mls listing uh i just see the i just want to make sure it's settlers ridge 42 757 settlers ridge i just need to make sure that that's what you're after um ah there we go yep all right so we are talking about the same thing all right so then what you're asking me is does it look like this whoops this photographer knows what they're doing. Um, so we're gonna. So you've got a real estate photographer first of all. Um, so that's that's interesting and that's fine. 
Okay, they're really good at exteriors. Yes, his techniques tell me he knows what he's doing. Although on photos like this, on photos like this, I prefer, because you see how the you can't really tell what's outside. It's washed out. It's also known as blown out. Uh, I prefer them to know how to make this very visible as well as the inside. Uh, so it looks like they have an idea of what to do. I would love to see this guy's work with actual furniture <laughs> in the place. But it looks like he has an understanding of angles uh, to be able to show off a, a space decently enough and I'm seeing I'm sensing it they all feel the same which is great and it looks like he's got a drone so yay drone uh, so that's good like his exterior photos in my opinion are way better than the interior ones yeah that's what I'm seeing so yeah uh, that they they have the they have the basics down. The question is is how good will it look once furniture's in there? Mm, we'll find out. But I, I think that it looks good so far. Looks good so far. So good stuff. Um, hopefully this has been helpful to you. If, you, if it's your first time here, feel free uh, to you know hit that subscribe button so you can get more videos uh, as we produce them as it relates to becoming a bigger better batter entrepreneur specifically in the short-term rental world uh, because that's what we like to do um, so that you can also stay uh, up to date with the news the tips and the things that are happening as well um, and June you are quite welcome Donna you're quite welcome uh, so all of those things are totally there um, and so hopefully that this has helped you some and in the meantime guys uh, go out there write some write some offers <laughs> or I should say leases uh, go get you some leases take care of your guests and uh, let's go continue to chase those five-star reviews and make this stuff happen all right guys it's been fun talking to you today look forward to talking to you soon bye